first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. I want to give double um, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching this truth time and time again, showing us how to be men, men of the Lord, the water Yah by Shem And um, I want to uh, uh, give another lesson onto the laws on why it is uh, it is uh, made for for life. Uh, let me get something real quick, and then I'm gonna go on to Leviticus 25 and 4. So. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth shall live in them. So this way, faith bear me a very different from the way of the law, which says if through obeying the law that the person has a life. That's what it means. Person has life. These are these laws are not for uh, uh, just for uh, just uh, for nothing, like just because the Lord just wants you to do for power. No, these is showing us uh, a life. So, a quick one, and I'm going to get into that scripture. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. My laws are as the apple of thy eye. Guard. Obey the commandments and live. Guard my instructions as the guard your own eyes, the apple of your eyes. Like, you're supposed to uh, you know, make these important uh, like to you. You know, the apple of your eye is something that's very important. The, the, your eye single to the law. Well, what well, we have, you know, but uh, like Yahweh Shai, we're not saved by the law, but we keeping these is promoting life. So let's see the reason why. So I'm going to get that real quick. Leviticus. Going a little bit of the science on why this is the Lord's own point. Always, like, these laws are not made uh, for our destruction. This is Leviticus chapter 25, verse 4. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest upon the land, a Sabbath, uh, a Sabbath for the Lord. Though shall neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard. So the Lord is saying, uh, on the seventh year, you're supposed to let your land rest. Let it uh, uh, have a, like, how, as men, they liken us to trees, or I think, let the soil get a time that it can revitalize itself, re-understand, no, uh, re uh, put forth it's the nutrients that it is, because plants do take nutrients, they do eat food. So I'll show you um, types of nutrients for plants. What do they uh, take? They take hydrogen, they take oxygen, nutrient, I mean, nitrogen, phosphate, these are all minerals found in the soil, but they take the soil off. That's why if you keep continuously plant on it, because I work at a nursery, if you continuously plant uh, on something and you don't let it rest, then all that nutrients will be bad and it will start turning into clay without nutrients, like, like how it's in Moreno Valley. You, you can't grow, you have to go through and go deeper and deeper. right nitrogen contrast and what do you think fertilizer manure is doing is putting that um putting that nutrients in and but you don't really have it because the land savage takes care of all that things and then uh, going a little bit more on the science neither sow that field nor prune thy vineyard and which grows of its own of the harvest thou shalt not reap neither Gather the gra grapes of the vine undressed, for it is the year of rest unto the land. Do not store it away the crops that grow on their own, or gather the grapes from the unpruned vineyard, and the land must have a prune. Because the ones that grow on their own is usually covered, because if you prune, if you uh, continuously let the dirt, let me just, uh, let me just, top soil. You just let a uh, certain and then keep doing it. Topsoil grown.
falling, sliding top rate. Like, oh, uh, say in Iowa, uh, when they are continuously plant, then that soil never had, and the ones growing on own covers that topsoil. And when the wind blows, it blows it away if it doesn't have grass on it. So that's why when you rest, the stuff that grows it on is really. So why does soil need much rest as we do? You may have heard of a mention of some of our farmers resting the land or covering their crops. It is you must like our first and you must ask what is and how does it benefit the farmers for going crops. In order to answer this, we have to let's go uh, go on a laser focus effectively when thinking soil of a farmer's most valuable asset because you can uh you got to understand the land it's a it's alive and so uh, if you would have even when you work out you have to rest some days to let your body recover and that's what the soil is doing so if you don't let it it just deteriorates cycles generating so let me just go down to the healthy so, so beautiful thing about the earth is that it naturally restores itself planting the right things over a depleted soil can actually restore the soil without chemicals and pesticides so we did it back in the day they didn't use that but even if it's benefit in this day that covering the crops in a process of planting crops with little or no yield for primary and you're supposed to just no year let it grow on its own anything natural and a lot of stuff uh like most of uh, uh like california natives are like sage and stuff like that that stuff grows on its own by the just uh, natural so and those, those are great medicines, but you're not even supposed to reap it. Um, restoring the nitrogen in the soil. So you don't have to put manure and uh, get a bunch of pigs. It is good that you, they, uh, as a farmer, if you have a lot of grass and you're doing it, the, the, even the cows replenish itself when they eat the soil and then they poop it out. And then that's the, also putting more nitrogen in it and methane. But it does it naturally or with the rainfall. And when you let the rain fall, like I me, mean, if you let the soil rest in farming, uh, you have to have a time period to let that uh, soil soak in when the rainy season comes. And if you have crops or anything on it, it's not going to get very far because it's absorbing all that uh, nutrients, those plants, before it gets farther. So you need it deep in the earth by the uh, washing through the soil. And a technique I'm on organic farmers is covering the rest of natural ba balance organics carbon and nitrogen let me see i got another article uh, this is not know where i read it i just did it For go and settle in country, many wonder. Let me see. And when the uh, crop rotation in the, in the modern day, they call it a following scene, letting winter farmer have a rest for growing cash crops is common region for multiple practices. And even they even subsidize you when you uh, rest in uh, in uh, California in, uh, in the United States. They subsidize you. I believe like. You have enough acres it's like a hundred dollars an acre and even if you're growing corn you get 220 per bushel uh, you make more money but that's work and you're depleting your most valuable asset which is the land and cover it also uses replenish the nutrients in the soil but it also some farms let fair one cover cops let me just skim through it winter I'm talking about so, but uh, it also lets, like if you have any pesticides in it, it all washes away. But uh, I'm looking for it. I have it. I'm going to just get a little bit more scriptures. It also takes away the food from any of the insects and pests that are growing in your land. If you have a problem with insects, letting it rest takes away their food and they starve out and die. Uh, the uh, insects that eat all particular crops. So the land... And the Sabbath of the land shall be meat 
for you, for thee, for thy servants, and for thy maids, and for thy higher servants, and they the stranger that sojourn there. For if you may eat whatever the land produces on its own during its its Sabbath, then apply it to you, your males and female servants you hire, and temporary residents who live with you. So you can you know, can eat it, but you can't just reap it. Wait, let me see. Which grows on its own harvest thou shall not reap. So, you, so don't store anything that grows on its own or gather the grapes from your unpruned vine. Let the land have a year of a uh, complete rest and then that also produces more life when you're not gra gathering those grapes that are uh, are, are 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 not uh, falling now there's new processes of seeds was more seeds and more things that starts which promotes more life and for thy cattle and for thy beast thou of the land shall all thy increase therefore meet and um do a correction video on the year of Jubilee in a little bit. Well, I mean, this is all. Let me just get Leviticus 26 and 30. And there sh and shall the land enjoy her Sabbath as long as it lay desolate. Ye be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest, enjoy her Sabbath. Is talking about something else. It's just uh, when you're an enemy, uh, enemy, you're not really doing it, so you can't really follow the laws. But it's talking about something else. But like the land, letting your land rest for a year promotes more life. It brings back the nutrients in the plants. It gets rid of the pests that are eating the thing because it starves them out. Let me see. Man, how did this, my article just freaking disappear? Just to show you, uh, it starves out the pest. And crop cover also, oh, and why it let it grow on, on its own, releases nutrients that store an unused form, helps the soil itself being lost to erosion so for the wind or water when you let that let its natural thing grow on top of it because most of like certain grass not like the ones you in uh, uh the new days like uh like the one that are like not even the ones that just naturally grow now and like regular because either it's crab grass or it's that other grass that are finely tuned that we use a lot of water but i'm talking about like the natural grass that you see in prairies and all that stuff that is a benefit on it. It grows on it as soon as it lets a lot of nutrients, especially if a place where it's ideal farmland gets the rest when snow is sit on it and all that stuff. So, letting it rest, the next, when you plant it, it's going to produce its way more fruit. So, um, with that, I'm going to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakwadash, and the water Yahushai, Shalom.